ओम शांति ओम शांति मैं बस साकार मुरली नवंबर थर्टीएथ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर बाप दादा मधुबन वर्जन ऑफ शिव बाबा एसेंस ऑफ द मुरली स्वेट चिल्ड्रन सन सोज फादर रिनाउंस फॉर लविंग द डिक्टेक्स ऑफ योर माइंड एंड फॉलो श्रीमत फॉर ओनली देन विल यू बी एबल टू शो मिस रिविल द फादर सो बाबा सेज हाउ टू रिविल सुप्रीम सोल शिव बाबा थ्रू अवर यू कैन से माइंड वर्ड्स एंड बिहेवियर फॉर दैट वी हैव टू फॉलो हिज श्रीमत नथिंग एल्स इफ वी फॉलो बाबा श्रीमत एवरीथिंग वॉट बाबा हिज से कैन बी शोन थ्रू अस and so son soj father question which children does the father definitely protect answer the children who are honest are definitely protected if someone is not being protected there must definitely be one type of falsehood or another inside him why we are not protected by baba though we believe in baba because there is you can say false food inside us what kind of false food baba clarify to miss the study or to have doubts means that there is one false food or another within not only that we are not following baba shrimat but baba say if we miss the study or we have a doubt in baba or in study then baba kit is also one kind of false food maya his false food ravan his false food but in spite of that baba said to miss the study to have doubt that is also false food maya then trips him up and makes him fall second question for which children his maya a mag- magnet answer maya is like a magnet for those who are attracted by her beauty because maya he is showing her beauty at the confluence with 100% force in opposite to baba that beauty doesn't mean only beautification of body or beautification of facial thing baba everything even our mobile internet social media all are beauty of maya because we are losing a lot of time or wasting a lot of time behind it that is also baba says maya magnet the children who follow shrimat will not be attracted if we follow the shrimat baba says no question of attraction that is no question of attachment the smaller version of attach- attachment is attraction <clears> om <throat> shanti the spiritual father sits here and explains to you spiritual children you children have the faith that the spiritual father is teaching us spiritual children and it is remembered in this way souls remain separated from the supreme soul for a long time long time is 5000 years not millions and billions of years <clears throat> or hundreds of thousands of years they don't remain separated in the incorporeal world we all souls are with him in the incorporeal world in a very small space so baba says in incorporeal mm-hmm. world we are together then everyone stays together there if they become separated it surely means that they have come from there to play their own parts why separation because we are coming on this earth to play our parts means we are living the baba home that is our sweet silence home so baba says separated <clears throat> and then what happens from being sato pradhan they continue to come down and become tamo pradhan they call out o oh, purifier come and purify us the father to says i come every 5000 years this world cycle is of 5000 years i was not a single moment or you can say single second less or single second move exactly 5000 years so baba says 
5,000 years. Previously, you didn't know this. When Shiv Baba explains, he would definitely explain through someone's body. He doesn't make a sound from up above. There is no, you can say, Akashwani, you can say sound from sky, no. There is no question of power or inspiration. You souls enter bodies and converse. When we enter the body without speaking, we cannot remain, we can say, totally silent. So Baba said, you are making, you can say, sound through bodies. <clears throat> <clears throat> and we converse. Similarly, the father says, I too give directions through your body. Then, however such much you follow them, you benefit yourselves. We are following directions of Baba for us, not for him or anybody else. So Baba says, follow. <clears throat> Whether you follow Srimad or not, whether you listen to the teacher or not, you are only, what, what we are only, you are only make a sound from up above. Sorry, you are only make a sound from up above. There is no question of power or inspiration. Baba said no question of power or inspiration in that, sorry. <clears throat> You only bringing benefit or loss to yourselves. Baba says, whether you follow the Srimad or not, whether you listen it or not, listen to the teacher or not, you are only bringing benefit or loss to yourselves. Because if we are doing something, there is a benefit. If we are not doing, then there is no benefit. So Baba says, whether you follow Srimad or not depends on you. If you don't study, you will surely fail. This one also explained Dada. You have to study with Shiv Baba and then teach others. Father, so son. First father, so son the way. Son follows and then son, so father. This is not a matter of physical father. That one is the spiritual father. You understand that the more you follow Srimad, the greater the inheritance you will claim. Those who follow directions fully will claim a high status. Those who don't follow them will not receive a high status. The father says, what he says, remember me and your sins will be cut away. You have accumulated a lot of sin in Ravana's kingdom because we lose the soul consciousness. Anything we are doing under body consciousness is a sin. You have become very sinful souls by indulging in vice. Because everything depends upon the vice. Vice causes disease. This is, this easiness goes, means easiness is our nature. And when we are, you can say, involving in vices, then our nature gradually changes. So Baba says everything is a disease. Everything goes down gradually. You understand. <clears throat> so Baba says you understand that the more you follow Srimad, the greater the inheritance you will claim. Those who follow dialects, directions fully will claim a high status. And those who don't follow them will not receive a high status. The father says, remember me, you will become very sinful souls by indulging in vice. There are definitely pure and charitable souls as well as sinful souls. Sinful souls go and bow down in front of a charitable souls, that is in temples. People don't know that the deities who are charitable souls then take rebirth and become sinful souls. They believe that they, Miss Deities, are always charitable souls. The father explains, by taking rebirth, they descend from the Satopradhan stage to the Tamopradhan stage. When they become completely sinful souls, they call out to the father. When they are charitable souls, there is no need for them to have remembrance. 
so you children have to explain this and do service the father will not go and tell this to everyone you children are worthy of doing service and so you should go day by day human beings are continuing to become like devils because of not having the that recognition they don't hesitate to speak a lot of rubbish people say that god of gita is krishna you explain that he is bodily being krishna and that he is called a deity not the supreme father shri krishna cannot be called the father here everyone remember the father there cannot be anyone else who could be the father of souls only one supreme father supreme soul can be the father of souls except him no one else this prajapita brahma also says what he says you have to remember the incorporeal father not the brahma this one he is the corporeal father because brahma has his own body a great great deal is explained but because some do not understand fully they take the wrong path and go into the jungle many baba say souls has left the baba because they have left the path so they go to the jungle the father shows you the path to go to heaven in spite of that some go into the jungle the father explains it is ravan who takes you into the jungle you are defeated by maya you forget the path and so you become thorns of that jungle you will then go to heaven later you will come here to make effort to go to heaven the silver age cannot be called heaven it is reduced by 25% 25% time is gone that is considered to be a fall mark to celestial degrees down even power also reduced by 12% you have come here to leave the old world and go to the new world the silver age cannot be called the new world only golden age is called to the new world those who fall go then because those who fall go there because where in the silver age because they don't follow the right path they continue to fluctuate you realize that you don't have the re- you don't have the remembrance that you should have those who become residents of heaven are said to have passed with good marks and those who become residents of the silver age are considered to have failed you are becoming residents of heaven from residents of hell otherwise you would be called those who have failed in a worldly study they have to repeat a year in the worldly study they can repeat the year in this there is no question of repeating a year birth after birth and cycle after cycle you pass the same examination that you pass in the previous cycle the secrets of this drama have to be understood very well some believe that they will not be able to continue here for some old people you have to hold on their hands while they walk otherwise they would fall same way those who are not able to walk on baba's knowledge we have to support them however if it is not in their fortune no matter how much you emphasize that they have come to become flowers they don't become that if not in fortune baba say how much you explain it goes in vain as as ak he is also a flower but those thorns prick baba say ak cannot prick but thorns prick the father explains to you so much the shiva whom yesterday you used to worship is today teaching you in every situation it is emphasized that you have to make effort because without effort no fruit it is seen that maya makes very good flowers fall she completely breaks their bones and they are called traitors 
or definition of traitor those who leave one kingdom and go to another are called traitors the father says those who belong to me and then belong to maya are also called traitors their activity becomes like that the father has now come to liberate you from maya some children say maya is very powerful and she pulls them to her side maya is like a magnet at this time she adopts the form of a magnet the amount of beauty in the world has increased so much so baba say it attracts our souls our thoughts our mind our intellect every time previously those play films etc did not exist even brahma baba's time the film were silent no noise or voice all of those things have been in, invented in the last 100 years baba his experience dada therefore you children have to understand the deep secrets of this drama very clearly we are not able to understand the secrets of drama very clearly this is the reason why we are becoming up and down everything is accurately fixed it is as though this place has become like paradise in the last 100 years of your opposition for your opposition because everything science has created like a heaven why because it is useful for us in the future but here it is opposition because everything go, goes under maya that is ravan's kingdom so it can be understood that heaven will now come even sooner because all facilities we can see of the heaven here science too is very useful in heaven it gives a lot of happiness there in order for that happiness to become permanent this old world has to be destroyed all the world science cannot give happiness science will give sorrow because everything is temporary here <clears throat> so baba says the happiness of the golden age is only in the fortune of bharat others come later when the path of devotion begins it is when the people of bharat fall that those of other religions come down number wise gradually bharat falls a right to be ground right to the ground it then has to ascend here too you ascend and then descend people fall as much as don't even ask some don't even believe that baba is teaching them some very serviceable children whom the father prays also get caught by maya's clothes if very senior or very experienced person caught by maya baba se for new student it is a question of just like a click maya can fall them down there is a wrestling maya too fights in the same way she knocks you right down as you children make progress you will continue to become a war of everything maya makes you fall fast asleep that is the power of maya nevertheless the father says once you have heard this knowledge you will definitely go to heaven even at the end of the silver age when somebody does the course he will be in the heaven but not in the beginning no status however you won't be able to claim a status whatever effort each of you made in the previous cycle or if you fell while making effort you will ascend and descend in the same way now too there is victory and defeat but both both will be there when wrestling is going on if somebody punches definitely opposite party will also punch so victory and defeat will be there but we don't have to lose our hopes everything for you children depends on your remembrance that is the only key you children receive this limitless treasures those people go bankrupt and lose hundreds of thousands some become wealthy with hundreds of thousand but that too he is just for one birth they would not have all of that wealth in their next birth 
There is also a lot of suffering of karma here. There in heaven, there is no question of suffering for your karma. At this time, you accumulate so much for your 21 births. Those who make full effort claim the full inheritance of heaven. Let it remain in your intellects that you are truly claiming the inheritance of heaven. You must not think about your falling down again. You have descended the most and you will now have to ascend again. Effort also continues to take place automatically. The father explains, look how powerful Maya is. Human beings have so much ignorance and because of that ignorance, they say that the father is omnipresent. Why they say? Because of ignorance. Bharat <clears throat> was very first class. You understand that you were like that, that is Lakshmi Narayan, and that you are now becoming like that once again. We will be that. That is a Lakshmi Narayan. Everybody will be deity in heaven. There is so much praise of those deities, but no one apart from you children knows about them. Only you know that the unlimited father, the ocean of knowledge comes and teaches us. Even then Maya brings about doubts in many. They then don't stop telling lie and cheating. This is why the father says, write your chart honestly. However, because of body consciousness, some don't tell the truth so that to become a sin. If we are not talking to Baba, not telling the truth to Baba, it is a sin. And there is no connection with Baba, so sin will increase. So Baba says, you must tell the truth. Otherwise, there will be a lot of punishment because sin increases. A lot of punishment is also received in the jail of a womb. They cry out in distress in the womb that they will not perform such actions anymore. It is like when someone is being bitten. I will give example. He continues to ask for forgiveness. Even after receiving punishment, they still continue to do the same. You children now understand when the kingdom of Maya began. Others people don't understand. They continue to commit sin. The father sees that you are not becoming that sweet or gentle. The father moves along while being as gentle as a child. Because he continues to move along according to the drama, he says, whatever happened was destined in the drama. Baba has no effect because he has a hundred percent faith in drama. <clears throat> he also explained that the same must not happen in the future. If we are doing some effort, it will not happen in the future. Here, Bab Dada are both together. Dada's directions are his own and directions of God are his own. You need to understand who he is giving you this direction. You should understand. Still, Baba clarifies. This one is also your father. He is not Brahma. You have to listen to your father. Baba is the senior Baba, Shiv Baba. And this is why Baba says, constantly consider it to be Shiv Baba, who he is explaining to you. Even Brahma explains, Baba says, consider that Shiv Baba is explaining to you. If you don't understand this, you won't be able to claim a status. According to the drama plan, there is the father and also Dada. You receive the father Srimad Maya. He is such that she makes even strong Mahavis perform wrong acts. It is then understood that those ones are not following the father's directions. They themselves also feel that they are following their own devilish directions. The one who gives you Srimat has now become present here. Our consciousness will be that Baba is explaining to us.
His directions are God's directions. The father himself says, if you receive such मतलब wrong direction from this one, then I am here to rectify those. Only one character, only one soul about whom Supreme Father is taking the responsibility because he is using his body. That's the reason Baba say, I have taken this chariot. Why rectify, taken this chariot? It was because I took his chariot that he was insulted. Otherwise, he was never insulted before. If we see the history of Brahma Baba, very royal guy, very, very royal. He is insulted so much because of me. So I also have to look after him. The father would definitely protect him just as a father protects his children. You have physical world too. The more honesty you have, the more protected you will be. Those who are false are not protected. Their punishment becomes fixed for all time. This is why the father says, Maya catches hold of you by the nose and completely finishes you off. Some children themselves feel that Maya is eating them, and so they stop studying. The father says, definitely study. Achha, if someone is blamed for something, just remember, whatever each one does, he will receive the fruit of that in the future because the world he is now changing. Maya trips you up in such a way that you don't have that happiness. You then cry out, Baba, I don't know what is happening. On a battlefield, you have to remain very careful that no one trips you up. Nevertheless, those who have more strength make the weaker ones fall. They then continue with it the next day. This battle with Maya will continue till the end. They continue to fluctuate. Some children don't tell the truth. They have a lot of fear of losing their honor and think, what will Baba say? Unless you tell the truth, you cannot move forward. Your conscience continues to bite you inside, and that then grows. Some never tell the truth by themselves. Sometimes there are two people involved. One of them feels that the other one will tell Baba about it. So he or she comes and tells, tells Baba. Because they have a, you can say, fear that somebody will go and tell. So it is better to tell in advance. Maya, he is very powerful. It is then understood that it is because they do not have such high status in their fortune that they hide something from the surgeon. <clears throat> By your hiding it, the illness will not be removed. The more you hide it, the more you will continue to fall. There are evil spirits in everyone. Until you reach your karmati stage, your criminal eye won't leave any one alone and leave you alone. The greatest enemy is lust. So many fall. Baba repeatedly says, you mustn't remember any bodily beings. No one accepts you, Baba. Some are so firm that they never remember anyone else. A very faithful wife would not have an impure intellect. Achha. To the sweetest, to you sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning, from the mother, the father, Bab Dada, the spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. And we spiritual children love, remembrance, good morning, and say Namaste to the spiritual father. Mithe, Mithe, Sikala Deva Chopati, Matita, Bab Dada, Kayat, Pyar, or Good Morning, Rohani, Bab Ki, Rohani, Bacho, Ko, Namaste. Am Rohani Bachoki, Rohani Mat Pita Bab Dada Ko Yad Pyar, Good Morning or Namaste, Shukriya Baba, Shukriya. Essence for Dharma number one. The one who is teaching you, he is the unlimited father, the ocean of knowledge himself. Never have any doubt about this. Doubt is a Maya, negativity. Renounce telling lies and cheating and keep your chart with honest, honesty. 
never become body conscious or a traitor. Point number two, keep the drama in your intellect and become very sweet and gentle that is humble like the father. Do not show any arrogance. Stop following your own dictates and follow the one father's elevated directions. Blessing. May you remain absorbed in love for the one father. This is the method. What to get and thereby become free from all attraction and reach your destination. So how to reach our destination to be Lakshmi and Narayan or how to become free from all attractions? Remain absorbed in love for the one father. So Baba explains, Bab Dada sits you children in his lap of love and cooperation and takes you to your destination. This is not a path of having to labor. But when some go into the side streets, instead of the highway, they move further away from their destination. They definitely then have to make effort to return. The way to save yourself from laboring is to remain absorbed in love for the one. Do everything while absorbed in love for the one father and you will not see anything else. You will become free from all attractions. Slogan, give the experience of your fortune of happiness through your face and activity. That is our dealing, our behavior. And that is called Karmana Seva. Acha. Om Shanti.